It might have been a busy week at Microsoft Inspire, but we've always got time for AZ Update News. Let's get started. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. As mentioned, this week was Microsoft Inspire, Microsoft's largest partner conference held yearly, and it was with a plethora of announcements this go around. Let's get started with the first announcement, the announcement of Windows 365. Microsoft has highlighted Windows 365 as the new era for cloud computing, specifically enabling end users to gain access to desktops running Windows 10 and in future Windows 11 on a plethora of devices. So we're talking tablets, phones, other laptops and PCs, the whole gambit available to Windows 10 and in future Windows 11 all governed seamlessly by your IT department using your existing tools. When you're deploying the solution, all you see in terms of the gamut of what's available for the end users to utilize or what machines they're actually utilizing will show up as a Windows PC. So it'll look no different from everything, everything else that's been deployed already. What's awesome about this is with the centralized pane of glass to manage all these devices, uh, to manage all these offerings of Windows, it hugely makes IT pros lives easier in respect to, hey, I have to manage all these devices. I can do it from one pane of glass and it works seamlessly. The other benefit of this is when you're deploying these solutions, it's a lot simpler than a VDI solution that you've deployed because you're deploying an entire desktop and it's accessible on almost every device, which is awesome. Now, more information about Windows 365 is available on our blog, itopstock.com. Just look for the latest AZ update article. Also announced at Microsoft Inspire alongside the Windows 365 announcement is the new availability to deploy Azure AD join virtual machines in an Azure virtual desktop. This is huge because IT admins no longer need to have a line of sight from the VM to an on-premises or virtualized Azure Active Directory domain controller to deploy Azure AD domain services. In this scenario, you can also remove the need of the DC entirely, thus by simplifying the deployment and management of the environment. Now there are a plethora of supported configurations that are available, all listed on itopsoc.com, or if you wanna go directly, aka.ms forward slash AZ update to get the latest on the configuration requirements and configuration capabilities of the new deploying Azure AD join virtual machines inside of Azure Virtual Desktop. Next in the news is the announcement of the VMware Site Recovery Manager now available for Azure VMware Solution. This is huge news because for those that are building out resiliency in their organization and putting together a disaster recovery plan, you now have the ability for twofold. One, the ability to have on-premises VMware to Azure VMware Solution disaster recovery, and two, primary Azure VMware Solution to secondary Azure VMware Solution private cloud for disaster recovery. This is huge news and the ability to flip over as required should disaster strike is a big one because now with the simplicity of having to switch over everything into the cloud from either on-premises to cloud or from cloud to cloud, that availability utilizing the VMware Site Recovery Manager being made available in Azure VMware Solution, quick switch over, that enablement, disaster recovery plan put into place, you're good to go. Last but not least, the Microsoft Learn module of the week. This week's module, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Fundamentals is actually a learning path. Thought it was important to share this one, especially with the announcement of Windows 365. Managing your solution from a single pane of glass makes IT professionals' lives that much easier. So why not get up to speed in terms of what Microsoft has to offer from an endpoint manager? And remember, managing those Windows 365 cloud PCs is a huge advantage in endpoint manager because you have the ability to seamlessly manage the cloud PCs along with the actual PCs that have been deployed. And what the beauty about this is the single pane of glass capability to invoke policies and procedures that are required to ensure that there's a capability that is standardized for all those that are trying to access your organization's data. Make sure you check it out. As always, if you want to get a hold of the team here at AZ Update, you can get a hold of producer Pierre at Wired Canuck on Twitter. And if you want to get a hold of me for some reason, you can get a hold of me at Wireless Life. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you back again next Friday.